Today, I am filming Jayco. Why some people are still wondering who is Jayco? Jayco is a China car company from China, being managed here in Malaysia by Sherry. And on today's video, I'll be telling you about J7. But before that, I want to say a big shout out to Jayco Buki Jale for lending me this car to film this video. Please guys, try to locate them right in front of Pavilion Mall. They are right at the main entrance. You'll find them there. Or you can just Google ways to the location and don't forget there is amazing prizes for you from the showroom and from me too as i remain paul lash and you're watching drip cars how far guys i'm so happy and excited to unbox this lovely and amazing attractive looking car jayco and this one right here is j7 they have other range the j8 I think not yet in the market. Both cars are almost having the same boxy shape, but looking this one from the front, it comes with a waterfall grill, which Jayco called this. And coming from this side, you can see this lovely looking day running light, which is looking so unique. I haven't seen something like this in the market. And down here, that's where you find your headlamps. And it's um, two headlamps right here. And over there, you got the same thing. Looking very close, you will see there is an intake air vent right inside there. Above all, looking this car from the front, what do you guys think? Are you not convinced? Looking this car from the side, it looks like Land Rover, Vela, and it's looking boxy and beautiful from the side. If you guys noticed something just now, the moment I got close with the car key next to the driver door, the car unlocked itself, which is beautiful. I like it. And what you're going to notice right here is that the door handles are disappearing door handles and you can just lock it and it disappears while the side mirror closes for better safety. I like it. The Jayco J7 sitting on 19 inch alloy rim and looking this side from the whole side look is really amazing. And I love the disappearing door handle that gives it better aerodynamic and it comes with a roof rail right here. And this is how the back of the J7 looks like does it still look like vela tell me in the comment section actually this car is all wheel drive for this one particularly here and it comes also in two wheel drive and this car is full of powers just like i told you guys earlier it have a beautiful end-to-end -end tail light which it have here and for this one the design and the styling is also looking unique just as you guys can see right here and the jayco is being placed right inside of it just like it's all together right there and coming down here it comes with dual exhaust steel pipe and let's see if it is functional or not oh, it's not functional but you have the exhaust right under of it and it is still dual exhaust steel pipe just as you can see right there for me i don't mind because this car still have a lot which you're gonna like about it i haven't told you about the seven drive mode which this car have and shortly i'll be telling you guys about that right here as you can see it comes with its rear fog lamp right here which is not functional i think this is just only at night it reflects to the car coming right behind the j7 and here comes the fuel tank which i'll be telling you about the fuel efficiency when i bring this car for drive test i forgot to tell you guys that this car comes with a camera sensor boot opener which just have to come with the key very close to the boot and once you press lock and move back a bit it automatically open itself and right inside the boot let's see what the space looks like impression it comes with 418 liters of boot space and under here what does it look like hmm this is an off-roader suv and having the same tire as what you have in the wheel as standard is a good one because it keeps you prepared even when you have issue in the worst hour in a rough road so i like it and uh what does it look like here there's a storage space right here with a 12 volt plug in socket right in there and it even come with led light from the mirror and it have anchor hook right here which you also have the same thing over there and over here you still have the same um storage space and uh, storage space right here also i think you can even open here let's see Okay, you have your repair kit right over there and some at the back. All right, and if you even need more space, you can actually fold the rear seat to get more 
large room space and for sure you can always keep your things safe and and cool in there i like it one interesting thing about this boot space that you see right here is you can actually set the opening range which you want and it's so good for short people just like me <laughs> this video can be complete if i don't tell you guys about this car engine capacity and showing you what it looks like oh i forgot it's a double lash one more okay let's see are we there we have 1.6 liters tgdi engine plus 7 dct and this car is running on 200 horsepower 300 newton meters of torque and those powers is shared to the four wheel as you guys all know this is a four wheel drive and that is a lot of power for the mid-range like this that is a lot of power and which is good all right guys let's check out what the interior of the j7 looks like oh i haven't even seen it it feels luxury in here and i like it Woo! <laughs> i like that luxury welcome package which you get from the the seat before i continue this video let me tell you guys one thing which i like in the interior of this car just one of the things not just only that but let me show you guys this which is the voice command which and it's so responsive hello jeku open sunroof okay it's so responsive and um, it's really a good one compared to what i've experienced in some other brands <laughs> you guys know what i'm talking about the door handle looks like what you get in Land Rover Defender. What do you guys think? Correct me if I'm wrong. I like the front cabin which looks unique but in a kind of way it gives also the Land Rover vibe which you can see from here to deck and it have a hidden aircon vent right under here for the passenger and you have a unique design over here as well. I'm not so sure of what is this but it looks like a speaker hidden right in there. I'm not sure. This car have head up display with the driver monitor right here that shows your fuel consumption and other features as well here comes the amazing 14.8 inch infotainment system it's looking so massive right in front of everyone inside this car and coming down here it comes the phone compartment space and on the right hand side it comes the wireless charging pad that features 50 watts air cooling fan amazing i like it this car comes with seven drive mode which is so much for this car honestly i'm so impressed with the features that this car have and as you can see it comes with a normal echo oh this is sport mode snow mode sand off-road echo and normal that is so impressing i like it and let's see what it looks like under here okay it have a, a small storage space here which you can store things like your glasses your car key and inside the armrest you have a cooling fan here that feels so cool you know to store your cold drinks and i noticed something in this car a pass-through space which you can use to store things like this like your phone this car is being designed with a floating center console with a type c charging port and the usb charging port right there and over here you have um a small carrier for up to 3 kg for things like your juice and your minimum yes and right under here there's a, the space is massive here it's all good you can't really see what the seat looks like but it's sporty and it's um artificial leather looking unique and in a styling way and right up here you have your sunroof control with your inner light okay we have to go to the back and see what it looks like Come on. let's see what the back seat looks like okay it feels decent here and with my driving seat position from the front the legroom space is okay and i got more headroom space even with the sunroof it feels nice and we've got the grab handle here and right under of it is the inner light um, for your reading lamp and coming down here it comes with a single center air vent which the rear seat have to share and right down of it it comes with the usb charging port with the type c charging port and right down here is a mini story space i like the flat floor which we have here because it's not so high it looks like a ev car which feels uh, more easy to to maneuver to the other side 
no i like it mind you guys this car have ambient lighting in all four doors not just in the front doors only and that makes it look more luxury sorry guys you can't really see the seat of this car because it's a brand new car still wrapped and it feels comfy and good here you notice this car have height support for both seats at the two end and which is good to help the passengers at the back and right here let's see what the armrests look like two cup holders right here and it feels good i like it above all there's nothing really much to talk about the rest of this car it feels comfy and relaxing nice one talking about safety features in the j7 one of the features i like is the eye detector sensor which you have right in front of the steering wheel in front of the driver and this helps you to keep you uh, maintaining focus to your driving and it also have a head-up display that shows the speed limit you're running on and it also show the track and um, other things i like about the interior is the cooling fan which you have down here for your phone you know it's always hot down here in malaysia and having such feature like this close to the charging port would keep your phone more cool you know when driving or charging under the hot sun the road is a bit busy right now but i would like to see what the sport mode feels like which um can you guys really see it let me see if i can even do that manually with my hand um and this is sport mode can i go ahead okay <laughs> let's see I'm really impressed with the J7 takeoff speed and the transmission feels smooth and like it. This car also features high speed cornering assist which is pretty good for this car and it also have a very good turning radius just as you can see right here why testing it in this neighborhood. There's a lot more which you're gonna like about the J7 which I can't even tell you guys all right now because this car is loaded you will like it trust me. And if you want to test drive the all new J7, you are welcome. I would recommend Jayco Ukijale. Those guys are amazing and their hospitality is welcoming. At this junction, I will leave you guys as I hope to see you on my next video. And before I go, I will leave you guys with one reason why I like the J7. I like the confident look from each angle of this car. And I love the four wheel drive for off road, which you get in this car and you will find it among its rivals in the market and you will love it. And for me, I like it. That meant Polash and you just finished washing trip cars. Bye bye.